Hello, yogis! Welcome to the third in a series of four Singing Yogis mini classes. I am so happy that you're here today. I'm going to come onto my mat so we can get started. So, today I'm going to offer a different way of sitting, and it's for a very personal reason. My lower back's been real touchy this week. So, sitting crisscross applesauce like we've been doing in the first two classes is a little hard on my lower back. So, I'm sitting up on my knees. This is um, in, in yoga, it's called hero's pose. Um, so, what this does is it allows me to sit with the natural curves in my back, especially my lower back. It would take me leaning way crazy way back for me to round my lower back. So this just makes it, it's very little effort for me to keep my lower back in a good position. But if you prefer to sit, this is not easy on people's knees sometimes. So if you prefer to sit crisscross applesauce, grownups, if you've got something to sit on, that will also give you a little height to ease your lower back. So our bodies are different every day, and it's really important to listen to what our bodies are telling us, just like our moods are different every day, and it's really important to listen to what our moods are telling us. Hello, yogis. Hello, yogis. I see you. I see you. Heart light shining brightly. Heart light shining brightly together, hear me and you. Let's take a minute to soften between our eyebrows. Wiggle your jaw, see if you can release some tension in your jaw. Lift your shoulders up, squeeze, 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 squeeze all the way up to your ears, and then drop them down. Let's do it one more time. Lift your shoulders up, squeeze and drop them. Feels good, gives us some length in our neck and releases a lot of tension that we hold up here. So we're going on safari today. We're gonna start with a lion's breath. We're gonna warm up our breathing with a lion's breath and I brought a friend to help us. Hello, lion. Lion is feeling very fierce today. Lion's breath is a release valve. Lion's breath helps us release tension, anxiety, stress, big feelings, anger, and it can make us feel brave because it's a big, brave sound. So Lion's gonna show us how to do it. You ready? He's ready. Lion's gonna take a big breath in and then roar, roar. That was very fierce. Can you do it again for us? He's gonna do it again. He's gonna take a big breath in. And he's gonna roar, roar. Let's do it with him this time. Ready? Let's take a big breath in. And roar, roar. Thank you for showing us how to do lion's breath, lion. We're gonna do it again on, I'm gonna go back on my mat. And we're going to come sit on our paws like a lion. And we're going to show our lion claws. And we're going to scratch. Let's scratch, scratch, scratch. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Take a big breath in. And roar. roar. I did a very fierce roar. Let's do it again. This time, you could stick out your tongue while you roar. Let's scratch, scratch, scratch. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Take a big breath in. And roar, stick out your tongue. That was very fierce. Let's do one more time. The loudest one you can. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Big breath in. Stick out your tongue. That was very fierce. I feel very fierce now. That is lion's breath. It's time for our rhyming sun salutation so we can warm up our bodies before we head off on safari. All you have to do 
is copy the shape of my body and say the rhyme after me. So we're gonna start like a little mouse in a house. And today, on account of my touchy back, I'm gonna put my knees together because that's gonna support my lower back as it gets a gentle stretch. You can also have your knees apart so you get a nice lengthening in your torso. So I'm gonna come down like a little mouse in a house very gently, very gently. Quiet mouse in a house. Your turn. Stretchy cat on the mat. How now, brown cow? Good, and let's do three cat spine, cow spines. Ready? Say it with me, cat meow, cow moo. Cat meow, cow moo. Cat meow, cow moo. Good. That is a really gentle way to warm up and get a little movement in your lower back and spine. Here comes puppy dog, ready? Tail up, little pup. You can wag your tail, and grown-ups, you can see my knees are bent, because if I try to straighten my legs, it's gonna pull on my lower back, so I'm being careful. Whoa, here's my pony macaroni. And let's say it together one more time so we can kick our other leg. Here's my pony macaroni. And now let's put our bellies on the floor like a snake. Take a break, wiggly snake. And push up to hands and knees. And we're gonna come to sit in our safari cars, because we're going on safari. I'm gonna take a towel now, so I get a little height to sit on. And as I climb into my safari car, you can straighten your legs. I'm gonna keep my knees bent a little bit because I'm being careful, I'm listening to my body. Oh, we gotta buckle up our seatbelt and hold onto the steering wheel. I wonder what we're gonna see on our safari. We're going on a safari, safari, safari. We're going on a safari. I wonder what we'll see. Oh, over there, under the acacia trees, I see an animal that's very, very tall with a long, long neck. What could it be? I bet you already guessed it. It's a, a giraffe. Giraffe has long, long legs and a long, long neck and also a long, long tongue, which you can't see. So they can eat the leaves off the tallest of trees. We're gonna stand up tall like a giant giraffe. I'm gonna go all the way back to the wall so you can see me. And I'm gonna stand, you can have your feet together or hip width apart. And I'm gonna reach my giraffe neck up as long as I can make it. And I'm gonna say a giraffe story. I'm a tall giraffe reaching way up high. I'm a tall giraffe. I can touch the sky. I eat the leaves from the tallest of trees. Way up high. Good, you can rest your arms, give them a little shake, shake, shake. And we're gonna say the giraffe story one more time. And this time we're gonna take giraffe steps with our long giraffe legs. We're gonna keep our legs straight as we take big giraffe steps. I'm gonna stay right here on the spot so you can see me. But if you have room to walk around with your giraffe legs, you can do that now. I'm gonna stretch my giraffe neck up so high. Here comes the giraffe story. 
I'm a tall giraffe reaching way up high. I'm a tall giraffe. I can touch the sky. I eat the leaves from the tallest of trees. Way up high. Oh, rest your arms, give them a shake. We're gonna come back into our safari car. Say bye bye giraffes under the acacia trees. Come back into our safari cars and buckle up our seat belts. Hold on to the steering wheel and here we go. We're going on a safari, safari, safari. We're going on a safari. I wonder what we'll see. Over there, prowling in the tall, tall grass, I see an animal that's orange and black and has stripes across her back. What could it be? I bet you already guessed it. It's a tiger, you're right. Tigers are orange and black and they have stripes across their back. Tiger's going to sing a song for you. Tiger, tiger, orange and black. She has stripes across her back. When she's in a hungry mood, she prowls around and looks for food. Tiger, tiger, orange and black. She has stripes across her back. Tiger has stripes across her back. Grown-ups, you might recognize the tune of that song. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. So many of the songs that we sing to go with the poses in Singing Yogis are familiar tunes. That makes it easier for the children to concentrate on the poses and the story rather than an also adding on top of that an unfamiliar song. So it's, I just changed the words, but it's tunes that we know. We're going on a safari. Here we go around the mulberry bush. We're gonna do a tiger pose on our mat. So I'm gonna come back onto my mat and I'm gonna stand like a tiger on all four legs. And we're gonna prowl. Here's how we're gonna show our tigers prowling. I'm gonna reach out one arm and I'm gonna reach out one leg. So grown-ups, it's gonna be opposite arms and legs. It's a balance pose, a balance, and it's very strengthening for our back muscles, which is real good for me today. So we're gonna sing the tiger song and we're gonna prowl through the tall, tall grass looking for food. Tiger, tiger, orange and black. She has stripes across her back. When she's in a hungry mood, she prowls around and looks for food. Tiger, tiger, orange and black. She has stripes across her back. Oh, we're gonna come back into our safari cars. Let's say bye-bye tigers. Shh, prowling in the tall, tall grass. We're gonna come back in our safari cars because there's one more animal we're going to visit today. So let's buckle up our seatbelts. Hold on to the steering wheel. Here we go. We're going on a safari, safari, safari. We're going on a safari. I wonder what we'll see. Oh, down on the ground, there's an animal with no legs. What's an animal that slithers on the ground and sometimes up a tree with no legs? You guessed it already. It's a 
a snake. That's a crazy snake. Say hello, snake. Our last pose today is going to be a relaxation pose. It's actually a breathing exercise called snake breathing. Snake breathing is relaxing because the emphasis is on the exhale. We're extending, lengthening the exhale as long as we can, and that triggers our relaxation response. So we're gonna come lie on our bellies like a snake, of course. I'm gonna come onto my belly like a snake. We're gonna lift up when we breathe in, and then we're gonna lie our bellies back down as we breathe out and we hiss while we breathe out. So let's try. We're gonna breathe in. You don't have to come up very far at all. Breathe in and hiss. And come all the way down and rest your snake forehead on the floor. Let's do two more. Let's breathe in. And hiss out. Last one, breathe in. And breathe out. And when you practice this on your own, you can then stay on your belly for as long as you like. I feel like I could stay on my belly for quite a long time now. Uh, what's nice about that position on your belly, in addition to working on extending the exhale, which relaxes us, being on your belly puts a little gentle pressure on your diaphragm, which encourages your lungs to fully exhale. Um, we spend a lot of time just topping up the air in the top part of our lungs, and we don't often fully exhale because you really need to do it on purpose. <sighs> to really get all the air out of your lungs. So what happens is you get kind of stale air in the bottom of your lungs, which has carbon dioxide in it, which stresses our nervous system. So by fully exhaling and emptying out our lungs all the way, it also helps us relax. <sighs> I have had such a lovely time on safari with you. We're gonna say bye-bye to the snake slithering away and it's time for us to sing goodbye. I'm going to come back up on my knees in my hero's pose and I'm going to twinkle my fingers over my heart light. I wonder what color your heart light is today. Hmm. My heart light sees your heart light, your heart light, your heart light. My heart light sees your heart light shine so bright. I can see your heart light shining so bright from here. Thank you so much for playing yoga with me today. I had a wonderful time. Join us next week, same time, same place, Thursday at 9.30 for our last Facebook Live Singing Yogi's mini class. And then on May 5th, we start in-person classes at the River Valley Arts Center in Wappingers Falls. If you have any questions about that class that's starting in May, you can message us right here on Facebook. And if you have any questions about any of the poses or the breathing exercises we did today, you can message me right here on Facebook. And I will look forward to seeing you same time next week. Also, you can watch the first two mini classes as well as this one will stay up, the videos will stay up on our Facebook page, on the Harmony Garden Music Center Facebook page. So I'll see you next week on the back.